Tonight, an unlikely pair is working together as Hazelwood schools continue to deal with contamination concerns at Jana Elementary. Senator Josh Hawley and Congresswoman Cori Bush sent a joint letter to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers asking them to test all district properties for radioactive waste. Laura Barczewski joined us now, and Laura reports these pleas to test all the schools in the district actually started last year. They did, Mike. Before any work can be done, the Army Corps of Engineers says they have to look into whether they have the authority to do more testing. In a letter, Senator Josh Hawley and Congresswoman Cori Bush asked the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to make testing all Hazelwood School District properties for radioactive waste a top priority. Bush said in a statement, quote, logically, we cannot assume that the only evidence of radioactive waste is limited to the grounds of Janet Elementary School. The health and safety of our children, teachers, and community members isn't a partisan issue. That is what comes first. I think this letter really... Um go straight to the heart of the Department of Energy and what they did here um, back in the 40s and 50s with the Manhattan Project. I think for the first time we're seeing a, tr a huge mountain begin to crumble in the very beginning of um, this agency being forced to come back and correct this enormous wrong. The legislators also asked for the school district to get a refund for testing it had to do independently at Jana Elementary School. Kristen Camuso with the Missouri Coalition for the Environment said they understand this undertaking will need more resources and quote, we're happy to see that Congresswoman Bush has already put out the request for more funding. Hawley said in a statement on Twitter, quote, I'm calling on Joe Biden to declare a federal emergency. Just Moms STL advocate Don Chapman says this cleanup and testing is long overdue. Because if it doesn't happen, I mean, what's in store for these kids? That's right. You know, if, if, if they don't, then you have legacies of cancer, you know, and I think that many of us are already seeing that. And we can't do anything about the past exposure, but we certainly can do and we should do everything we can to prevent right now from being exposed. We can stop it. The Army Corps of Engineers tells me they hope to meet with the district and legislative staff this week to find a way forward and will continue remediation efforts in Coldwater Creek. Mike. Laura, thanks.